Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. Before I get started, in case you didn't already know, this is a little market in Helsinki, the capital of Finland. And using Google Translation, this is the word for coffee in Finnish, and that's the word for sisters in Finnish, so coffee sisters. Probably set up by a couple of Finnish ladies who formed a little company called Coffee Sisters and showing Enterprise. This also says is the Finnish word for soup of the day and it is five euros each. There's a Finnish old age pensioner there enjoying his soup of the day. Must be a little bit nippy in the air. There's his electric buggy. This Finnish couple are in, having some soup this guy is just like just having coffee talking on his mobile probably a Nokia and this is a young Finnish guy backpack he's just purchased something probably pastries or so to go with his coffee couple in the queue and these two are one debating whether to have a coffee or some soup of the day this Finnish lady if you notice she's looking at this before she gets probably maybe some tomatoes which is one euro and eighty cents probably a kilo this Finnish lady if she's either looking at him or her eyesight's over here somewhere and there's a bus stop there's a timetable anyway enough of that I've been seeing signs of a coming storm for these past few years. The 2008 was a taster of it and I've more or less been getting myself prepared since 2006 when I first started going on YouTube and fi watching videos about the slow and steady decline of the American economy and how the American dollar is going to crash sooner or later. But that's not really the reason I'm doing this video. I'll just bring Google up, bookmarks, bookmark manager. The world's becoming a more dangerous place and going through the blogs and that on Friday evening I came across this map. It just shows America, but if you zoom out, whoops, wrong way, Christopher. Look at all those incidents. Click on that to reset it. There you go. Ah, you dozy sod. What do you do that for? Each one of those little flower things is a terrorist arrest, captured, killed locations and a bomb. Look at the trouble all over the world including in Finland there. You can zoom in on various countries depends where you are Canada seems to be quite peaceful even though there's been a in bomb incident at Vancouver well look at America all down the west coast Florida not much in the middle because there's not much there the population density isn't very great but California Los Angeles anyway as you all know, bombing and terrorist events are just one incident which affects the world. Unbeknown to all of us and currently going on round the clock is what is commonly known as cyber warfare and hybrid atta cyber attack, sorry. Oh I'll leave all the links for this the websites I'm gonna show you below so you won't have to go search them for them yourself. 
I found this one. Now there's 39,542 cyber attacks 43 all over the world. But that's not the reason why I've titled this video something's going on down there. For that we'll have to go to another one. This tends to just be like this and it doesn't really cover the map. This is another one I've found showing you how intense the cyber warfare is. There's America it gives you some information about it and there's China. Brazil's engaged in a lot of cyber warfare with America and Americans don't trust Britain or Spain or New Zealand is joining in the party but anyway this is the one I wanted to show you and the purpose of this video you've probably seen all this before but if not it's quite interesting when it decides to load come on come on come on I'll switch off and try it again there we go there Washington DC not Washington, Washington State, Washington Harbour that receives an awful lot of cyber attacks there's Washington DC and that's the probably one of the National Security Agency's spying sectors there's Diego Garcia a British naval base you get waves of attacks coming from here and last night there was a load coming from Japan aimed at America. Even little Switzerland's got in on the act. And there's Russia. However, concentrate on this little guy down here. He attacks America and he's also attacks China. Now that is Bouvet Island. It is a Norwegian dependency which is here Norway's keeping out the way I'll just shrink that down and bring this up bookmarks I bookmarked it so you don't have to look for it and I'll I'll copy that because I'll need that. Now Bouvet Island is an uninhabited sub-antarctic sub volcanic island. It's 19 square miles or 49 square kilometers in size. That's a picture of it. That's a NASA photograph. and there we go that's what I wanted as you can see there's nothing here except a meteorological station now I'll shrink that down and bring up Google Earth paste search and down we go to the bottom of the world and there's Bouvet Island as Google Earth sees it now that is a speck in the ocean and it's supposed to be uninhabited so what 
Whoa, that's a big one. Everybody's zooming in. That could be Langley. Gets like that. What's this little island at nobody's arm with just the meteorological station doing attacking America? Especially Washington State. I've also seen it attack Saudi Arabia. I've also seen it attack China. And now and again it attacks Russia. Speak of the devil. There we go. Where's it gone? There. That looks like Taiwan. It's just attacked. What's going on down there? Here we go again. It's just attacked NASA. No, it's not. NASA's down here. And returning fire, so to speak. I've read that it could be the base for the Illuminati. I've also seen a couple of videos, Illuminati. St. Louis in America. That receives an awful lot of attacks. Wonder what's so interesting in St. Louis. Anyway, this is just what I wanted to show you. It, you can watch it through the night and it tends to come in waves. I've also found a couple of articles. Forbes, come on, come on. Thank you. About this and I'll put that link below. Uh, ah, bloody hell. Anyway, I'm not gonna... That, because this bloody thing might start. Uh, where is it, where is it? I've read that... No, it must be in the Forbes one. This is just one-tenth of one percent of all the cyber warfare that's going on. Also, occasionally you get stuff coming from this area, where there's no islands that I know of. So, some that's going on down there, we all know what's there. China wants to attack America. And Russia also attacks America at times. And Europe has pot shots at everybody else. But mostly it's two-way traffic between China and America. The 1,726 attack origins. So America is launching all that war against China military government 221 95 from Poland Russia 57 what's the time now 5 to 5 all the Russians must be having the dinner it's early morning in America we're down here somewhere we just a few I'm about here in Britain. That's North Yorkshire. That's a big radar station on the North Yorkshire Downs. So that's where that's coming from. And they don't care much for Washington either. But that's mostly wanted, what I wanted to show you. It's this little guy. Why is an uninhabited island in the South Atlantic acting like it's got a base and attacking America and Brazil and all this area and China. Is the Norwegian government not telling us something? I'll just close this down and just it 
tells you who owns it. Dependency. Ah, here we are. It's owned by the Ministry of Justice and the Police of Norway. I would think the South, far South Atlantic is a little bit out of their jurisdiction. But then we don't really know what the Norwegians are up to. Because that's all what they deal with. Arctic affairs, but that's the other end. No, the North Pole, not the South Pole. Something to keep an eye on because this coming storm is possibly going to break this year. Right, on another subject, I've been asked when E Online gameplay is going to come by a poster. He posted the question on, I think it was the last video that I did, and explained it to him, but I think I should show it to you, say me rattling on. So I'll just bring up the Eve client. Password. The new expansion's been launched, so the music's a bit different, but that's about all. Connecting. And a skill's completed. Skill training completed. There's Adela. You notice she's wearing a different outfit and a different hairstyle from the last time you saw it. Isn't she pretty? Anyway. I'm currently in Jitter. I'll just show you my ship, even though it's not fitted out. I did have a mining barge. I've still got that. But that is a heron. Not going to go out in the space because there's no point as yet. Not very big. So let's get back there. Now the reason I came here to Jitter was the system I was in does have a lot of asteroid belts to mine but the market has got practically nothing and anything that I need to buy will be here on Jitter. Set her down. Now, here I am and for a long while I've been in this system there's only about 40 players there at the most and it's nice and quiet but it's got a lot of, of asteroid belts and I've been building up my S pile and as I was training I did manage to get down to BR5RB which is here but I had to do it in stages i.e. bunny hop from, from system to system to system I was admiring one of the wrecked Titans and I didn't notice an Imari battle cruiser coming up on me and before I know it my ship was blown up and I was podded and then my pod blew up and I ended up back here. I did get ganked by a code ganker in this system so I decided to not bother with mining after I've upgraded my training queue. By the way, 
this is the new map that they've been working on isn't it good if you click on jitter show info we've got the same thing but if you zoom in it shows you all the stargates and stations as you can see there's no asteroid belts at all and where's that one that was there if you zoom in on that as you can see lots of asteroid belts stargates I've been going round and round the belts just cherry picking the vacuous pyroxerxes because that's got the highest yield anyway I've got no training as yet but as you can see I'm gonna have to buy some data analyzers and I don't want to relic analyze it because they're already low sec and I'm not gonna go there yet I'm just gonna try this but you see I need hacking level 1 skills and electronic upgrade levels 2 9 hours 19 minutes 17 seconds 11 seconds sorry I have not bought those yet but I'm going to have to buy a load of stuff if equipment to be shipped and then get back to the where I was as I've got a load of ore I've got to sell and where's the probe probe launchers this is the one the probe launcher 2 is 1.7 million well there's only 34,000 I can't see any difference in them but requirements I'm alright for that I could get the probe launcher but there's a few things I need to upgrade on because where's it uh, cloak I'm gonna have to get a cloak otherwise I'm not gonna last long in nearly low sex space no problem buying it But you see, cloaking level four, six days, that's nearly a week and with the other one. So I can't do something even on game even online gameplay until I've got all this kitted out. Uh where is it now? Where is it? Uh damn my main gun. Ah, there you are. Most of the stuff I can get, but I need to just equip my ship with stuff like this just in case I get bounced because I have no weapons on a Heron. I was going to get a Buzzard, but they're 40 million esque, and this Heron, all its kit, will cost me around about three to five million which is a lot easier to cope with if I get bounced and then killed and podded than losing 40 to 50 million isk at a time I just thought I'd brief you if you're wondering where this next even like gameplay is going to come and the reason why I've not been doing it and just been on Battlefield 4 is simply because I've been up in my training queue, which I'll show you. Whoops, do it again. Come on. See, I've been bringing everything up to level 5. I could train to that, but it'd be 14 days, and while I'm training on that, I can't train on the other ones. I might be doing that once I'm doing some exploring. As you can see, I've nearly leveled everything out, so I'll upgrade my training crew Q 
queue sometime tomorrow after I've done the cleaning and then I'll see about equipping my ship then I'll fly it back to where I where my mining barge is in that system I showed you and then I'll wait until I'm fully trained up for the exploration and then I'll set off bring up the map again whoops I mean I'll be there so I might go to Muval Lenny Muval Le Lylan or it's a bit safer I might go to that one I'm not going to Losec which is up here because I wouldn't last very long so I'll probably be around this area once I try some exploration and getting some any sites with a bit of luck because I'll just get rid of that I found this in the corner now it notification history if you go right down the bottom bounty placed on you uh, you get kill rights now I've been podded three times by them this guy he decloaked in a scorpion right behind my Ventura mining barge and before I know it bang was gone but I've got a kill right on him because it was in high sec so once I've finished the doing some exploration I'm going to use a agent that tracks players down and I'll be coming after him if he's got a more powerful ship than me I can put the kill right for anybody to kill him and I'm gonna get revenge one way or another also bring it down whoops Ah. There we go, there we go. There's one. That's another kill right. That's another guy who killed me. I'm going to track him down as well and I'm going to kill him. I can do it in high sec without Concord interfering because I've got a kill right and the final one where is it there we are that's the code bitch that blew up my mining barge I'm gonna go for her as well she's got a 1.7 billion bounty isk so she wasn't flying much of a ship but I'll just have to see what she's flying once I've finally tracked her down and I'll be doing that gameplay when I'm doing that part of my EVE career but until then I won't be doing much because as I showed you I've got to get the skills up to equip this ship with exploration potential to have a look at relic sites and try that bit of the game to see what sort of reward I can get because at the moment I've only got 238 million isk I've got another 60 odd million 80 odd million in the other station in that system I left to come here and that should be bring me around about 300 million isk which is more than enough to buy stuff and then buy a combat ship what combat ship I'm probably go for being a Kaldari uh, battle cruiser they're a bit dear they are 178 million isk 
and I don't want a 200 million disc, I don't want to blow all my money on a thing like that simply to get it blown up. Kaldari, Ferox, um, can I fly that? Requirements, 50 minutes and I'll be able to acquire it, but I've not got medium missile skills trained up, so I might go for a cruiser. Kaldari, I might go for a Cerebus. Heavy cruisers, three days there again, three days of training. Let's see. Description. It's a missile boat. The shields are good, tanks not so good. But you sit at long range and snipe. Anyway, that's all I just wanted to show you in this video. It's more or less bringing you up to date with Eve and the previous uh, section about that little island in the far south Atlantic doing things that it really shouldn't with just a meteorological station on it. So I'll get out of here. That always gets me the music, and all of a sudden, when you'd come out, it's just suddenly silence. Right, people, I'll just close that. Right, people, 30 minute video, a bit longer than I wanted it to be. So, uh, you know the routine, people like, dislike, comment, subscribe. If you're going to comment, keep your comments civil. Whatever it is you want to do, it's completely up to you, so until the next one, probably next week or so, because the New York Motor Show's on, and I want to do an extension commentary to what I did about the Geneva Motor Show. I'll probably do that Tuesday afternoon. Uh, anything else I wanted to say? No, that's it. Right, people, that's it for now so until the next time bye